Hey guys, it's Quad, and I'm back for a second episode. Take two. Alright, so basically, I just recorded about a 17 minute episode, and then halfway through, I realized that my mic was off. I hate life. Alright, so, story of what just happened. I was over there at my house, I showed you the progress that I made, and then we got a record at night, and then we waited for melons to grow so we could give some to Dan for. Him. So I didn't do a large amount in that episode, but it kind of sucks that got deleted. Um, so basically, what I was over here to do, I have eight melon seeds uh, for Dan Floor to make his new melon farm right over there, because I know he wanted to make one, so got some melons, if I can type, got some melons, oops, I always do that, quad, okay, I'm sure he'll uh, appreciate that, and as you can tell, we have a new steed, we didn't have a steed before, but I went on a caving run, which I still have some of the loot in my uh, inventory, um, and I got two saddles, so and some uh, horse armor, and so I was like, I don't, don't want to go exploring for a horse, and there is a horse right in here that I've seen before, so I grabbed that horse, and I grabbed, there used to be one in here, that's what I was planning to do, uh, but alas, uh, there was none, so I was near my base, and I saw Roast, which, uh, is a horse that was named with a name tag, and he's right over there, and I remember seeing, uh, that horse in Brandon's video, so I was like, oh, it's Brandon's, better come return it, so I brought it over here, left him a little note, I found Ro Roast wandering around near my place, I thought, he should be returned. These horses really wander, man. So, Roast is here. I took the other horse. I bred them. Bred. I think that's right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, we got that. And now we have our own little horse that I have not named yet, but I plan to. He's not a fast guy. He's not a good jumper. He has okay health. But he's my horse. Anyway, um, we have done all that. So now I'm going to go back to my house, but I'm not going to cut because I would like to show you where my house is in relation to this area, which, which uh, I consider spawn, and I think most other people do. And there's Evil Clown hard at work at his uh, guardian thing. And Sean and Vermontius have made up, and all peace is restored to the world. Uh, so, over the hill, and there's this little valley basically directly across from the chicken, and what I use is Goldcap's castle, mini castle thingamajig. And, uh, yeah, so future stuff, which I want to talk about is I will be away this week. I will not be able to record videos, and I will also be away the next week. And, uh, shit. I gotta repair this. Um, so, I will not be able to make videos for those two weeks. I am sorry. Very sorry. Uh, nothing really I can do. Uh, my parents, uh, are going on a little vacation. And so am I. So, uh, without further ado, let us go to our house. So, kind of see the tip in the distance. Uh, there it is, right there. It's all its glory. I did make the house um, slabbed at the, for the most part, on the top. So I wouldn't get a lot of monster spawns on my uh, my roof. And I just recently discovered that I have many neighbors. <laughs> uh, I knew Sean was building here. And then Vermontius built right here. So 
I like his house a lot. It looks very nice. Sean also found the mesa, and as you can see, has a shitload of clay. So, uh, hopefully we might venture out there in a future episode to see, um, what's, uh, what's going on there. We can maybe, uh, pick up some clay. Oh, dear. Don't fall down here. Okay. Let's not die. Uh, so I did get a record while waiting for melons to grow, uh, <laughs> to take over to Dan. And I got weight, which, uh, I don't remember hearing. I don't think it's one of my favorites, but definitely like it. I'm glad it wasn't a cat or the gold one, because you find those all the time in dungeons. I had, like, ten of them on the last server I was on, so that's always a good thing. Uh, we made a little pen for him back here, and as you can see, I have filled in the glass, and I have made, oops, I have made a little deck. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking. It's outside, and... I don't really want to go let it in right now. Yeah, she, uh, she'll be fine. So, I uh, put this blue glass in, and I haven't done the interior yet. But what my plan is, I did get a little enchanting set up over here. I haven't actually gotten the enchanting table, but we can do that pretty soon. I would, I'm just gonna wait till I got to level 30, so I could, so I uh, make a diamond pickaxe and enchant it. I actually went into an abandoned mine shaft. That's where I got the melons. And I died with my enchanted diamond pickaxe that had fortune 2, efficiency 4, and I'm breaking 3, which I enchanted off camera. Um, we have full inventory, and all of our chests are full of junk. I need to do so much organizing, it's insane. Alright, let's just grab that, uh, throw that in there. There's the weight disc that I was talking about. Let's grab that, and let's throw this in here. Uh, and then throw this in here, just throw that in there, and then let's grab a little bit of coal, and toss that in there. So now, what are we going to show you? So, um, the house, like I said before, I want to build a pool. Uh, this is a little deck out here, it's a little gravel under, uh, under the deck. This is actually very similar to a house I visited in real life. Uh, one of my parents' friends um, has a beautiful house on the marsh, and this is kind of what it's modeled after. It's very wood and glass oriented. It's a beautiful house with uh, a deck much like this, the gravel, and then the marsh would be over here. But in this case, we have a river over here, and... Hopefully a pool will be installed soon over here. I might get to that in between this episode and the next. Um, but again, that won't be for a couple weeks, unfortunately. So I wanted to get this video, this episode out uh, to tell you guys what was up and get everything um, out of the way so you guys don't know what's going on. Um, so... What else to talk about? Um, yeah, so interior. I want to make this kind of like a, almost a real home, like a kitchen and um, like a living space. And I want that because I don't want this house to be the functional part of my base. I want this kind of be, kind of to be the front. Um, and then I'm going to make a tunnel hopefully soon over to that mountain in the distance and I want to make my base the functional part of my base over there but this kind of can be the the show what I show to people I guess um, so I'm really liking how it looks actually um, I did do most of this in creative before I did it here because otherwise it would have looked like absolute shit because <laughs> I can't build very well if I don't plan it out in advance so, what else to do in this episode? Um, I would go to the skelly grinder, but unfortunately the spawner was broken by somebody and we have no idea who it is. So, hopefully, um, we, somebody will find a new skelly, uh, skelly spawner and we can build a new one. 
Uh, it's unfortunate that that happened, but I guess what happens happens. Somebody clearly did it on purpose because you don't really just break a spawner. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. That would be really unfortunate, and there would definitely be some blame going around. Which is never good. Never, ever, ever good. So, basically, I kind of want to find a spawner of my own. And I would like to make it a grinder for everyone. Um, but to do that, I well, I really don't want to make a zombie one because flesh is essentially useless. And uh, it's, it's not as fun as uh, skeletons where you get the bones, which can be turned to bone meal and white dye. And it's, I mean, they just have so much more useful stuff. Arrows and bows. Look at that. Piece of iron. That's the third time I've gotten a piece of iron. I've also gotten a carrot and a potato. So, I mean, we're just rolling in the zombie loot. Um, what to talk about, what to talk about. So, basically, I just said, so basically, did I not? Uh, I'm gonna cut here and think about what I want to do next. Ow. So, I did remember what I was going to talk about, and what I was going to talk about is that I went into the nether. Um, I know I probably should have done that on camera, but I was streaming, which is something that I would like to do when I get back from my vacation. So, uh, yeah, so I hopped in a call with, uh, Vermontius and Dan Floor, and me and Dan went to the nether, and then I just talked with, uh, Vermontius for a while, which was cool, got to know him a little bit better, um, and yeah, I hope to do some more co-ops like that in the future. That would be really cool. Um, except recorded, because that was kind of just for fun. I was testing out my streaming, which actually looked pretty good. I was kind of surprised. Uh, I do get a pretty good upload speed. Um, so, all working, I guess. We do have a good amount of iron. And I think the next order, order of business is to organize a storage um space somewhere probably under my house um and then get all that stuff organized and then finish up the interior so what i really haven't done on the server so far is i haven't taken an official tour of spawn so that's what i'm going to do now um and i will meet you guys back when i am over at spawn so here we are coming up on the verges of spawn. Uh, this is new chicken farm. Get some free food. Always nice. Nothing in there now. Donations welcome. We will donate some paper. Because, well, I mean, paper is so valuable. Uh, Goldcap has a store that is super unsuccessful, and his little castle here, which he has a full enchanting setup in the basement. Kinda cool. Um. And then we did miss two buildings. We had the Guardian Leg, which uh, is made by Vermontius, and then Sean's house up there, which I showed earlier. I think that was in this recording. Might have not been. Uh, there's Sean now. Hi, Sean. Want some sugar? All right, that'll cheer him up. Uh, this, I think this house was abandoned. I think... Uh, uh, Chibi and No Fear were originally going to live together, but then they decided not to and are not. Uh, here's another farm that um, I think Lewis made it. Yeah, I think there's a sign over here. Yep. Le Shitty Wart Farm by Lewis. Um, and then this is also made by Lewis. <laughs> a little repair job. I'm not sure who did that, but it's interesting. Uh, he made, uh, hmm. Yeah, he made Kev flat. I stayed there for a little bit when I first joined the server. There is the nether portal, and then I think there's really only one more thing that's really close to spawn, um, which is Dan Floor's base, uh, and Neo's base right up there. Uh, I did show Dan Floor's base in the first episode, I think not positive but that might have done that Ugh, that was so pro okay 
Uh, so his base is right up here. Um, and his base looks very nice. He's got uh, this water stuff that going nowhere. And then he's got these cool uh, blue stained glass. I love the color blue. Blue is my favorite color ever. Uh, my high school that I'm going to next year is blue. Um, gotta love that blue. Uh, so, this is his base. Looking good. I think he just did this recently, but it looks very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's see here. Let's go. Uh, I think that's it near spawn. Nia's base, there isn't really a ton to see. And I think Gold Cat made a passage, but only two tall, so me and the horse will not fit. Um. There's that, there's the community farms and a little starting shack. Um, but other than that, really not too much has been established at spawn. Which I hope will change. There's a little pine forest over there that is man-made. Man and then I think I will cut to when I'm over near my base because I do have some neighbors and I think we should check out their base. So we have arrived at our first neighbor. My house is just right over there. I was unaware that he had his base here when I first moved. Uh, otherwise, I might have moved a little bit farther away because I don't want to intrude on anything that he is building. But he's got a uh, kind of cool flooded uh, ravine over here. It looks very nice. And his reed farm and his massive sheep farm, which all looks very cool. That looks really cool to me. I love that. Uh, and then also... Lewis's base is over here. He's got, I can't, I don't know if this is Scottish's or, I think it's Scottish's, but it could be Lewis, um, Lewis's ships, which look pretty cool. Uh, I don't mean to intrude if he was going to extend it where I am. Um, he's free to do so. I don't mind. Um, so here is his uh, tree farm and then right down here is his collection and I think I'm not sure where Lewis's base actually is I I don't know I'm kind of I guess this is his base um, let's see uh, yeah th this is base right over here I guess um, hey Lewis okay let's not read that because that is for Lewis. Um, so that that was the, the two neighbors that I wanted to show. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I had uh, planned for this episode. But I think we will end it with a little wait. I also wanted to show you this area, which Vermonti has found earlier. And I think it looks really nice uh pointed out it looks great actually considered moving uh my base here when i first was looking around uh my area the area i picked oh, oops <laughs> and uh but there wasn't enough flat ground to build anything here unfortunately so i hope this area kind of stays preserved it looks absolutely amazing i mean pretty incredible uh so now i guess all we have to do is make the record player play the disc and then i will uh sign off so i'll meet you guys when i've done that
Okay, guys, so that is all I have for today. Me and the sheep say goodbye, and I will see you all in episode three, which will not be for a while, unfortunately. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. Tune in for the next episode, and, uh, bye.